Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Just wanted to show you a new glimpse, a new glimpse of my garden. That is cantaloupe, that is mini watermelon, and I have uh, broccoli and cauliflower, and a little bit of carrots there, lots of tomatoes, and they're turning orange, red. Lots of little tomatoes starting to turn red. These little guys are getting buried in all of these huge tomatoes. Lots of peppers starting to come. And a whole heck of a lot of pumpkin and squash. I love me some pumpkin and squash. Look at these gorgeous flowers though. I've never seen such a gorgeous, oops, gorgeous pumpkin patch. Or messy. Ow! Mosquito bit me! And then we have some watermelon here in the front. And then my, my pickles over here are kind of getting smushed, getting covered, but they're growing too. I need to put a trellis in there. Beans and peas galore. You mean cucumbers? Uh, yeah. Cucumbers, sorry. Um. Ah! Bugs. One day we're gonna go to a place that has um, fidget, fidget spinner poppets. Yeah, we can. Because I, this is the second time I dreamed it now. Oh, you dreamed it. Okay, what was it? Um, it was a store. I don't know what store. And what did you get there? Two poppet fidget spinners. Awesome. So we a fidget spinner and a poppet. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, that's it. This section over here must have the worst soil somehow because it's not been growing well. Let's go, little girls. Come on. Come on, Dalmatian. Yes, dog. Good morning, girlies. Hello. So, uh, somebody in the comments said, Laura, Penny's eyelid cannot be growing back. It's impossible. And I know, that's why I said it was a miracle. That's why I said it was a miracle. It's not something I expected. Oh, he's gotta feed our kitty because he's here a lot now at night. So, a friend of mine, oh, we gotta get the food. So a friend of mine, had just, cat just had kittens. They, they bought a spayed cat from a rescue, a spayed wild cat from a rescue, and it got pregnant. Yeah, that, that actually happened. Like, I can't even believe it. Sneak up on the wild beast. Sneak up on the wild beast? Which wild beast? The deaf one. The deaf one, where is she? She's at the egg. All right, let's sneak up on the wild. Oh, no. Rock! <laughs> she has a horse foot. Oh yeah, she can have that. Let her. She wasn't here yesterday when the horses got no. got done. Let her have it. She can have it. No, I just find it. Go keep her in the barn. Keep her busy. All right, Penny Pickle, you ready for your breakfast? There you go, Miss Princess. This girl though, like honestly, she has been the best girl of life. And I almost didn't buy her because Gabby said don't buy her, she's grouchy and mean. Sometimes she is. Let that be a lesson to you that just because somebody's grouchy and somebody's mean, it doesn't mean that, that they're a bad person not going in. <laughs> or a bad horse. All it means is that they're going through a rough time or they're having adjustment problems. Anyways, back to her eyelid. So the vet said that she had a deformity and the bottom eyelid was missing. And I thought it was rolled in because I've seen that in other animals before. And I asked him and he like checked it and said, no, it's not rolled in. It is missing. And I was thinking like she probably scratched it. I don't think she was born like that. But she probably scratched it because you know what horses are like. But both eyelids were missing one had like a little bit missing and one had like a bigger spot missing and then if she was born like that she could have kicked it while she was i had her for like eight months and it never changed nothing ever changed and then all of a sudden in the last month all of a sudden she just started it just started filling in like the plumpness of her eyelid it just started to fill in and the space where it was missing just started to decrease like it's weird i don't understand i'm going to talk to the vet when he comes next but she's coming in barring any miracle or barring any issues. He's coming in September, I think. I think September. But anyways, um, 
I'll ask him about it. The only things that are different in the last month is that she's on grass, and grass has healing properties. Grass, like horses, need grass. I think someone just dropped off a horse at horse station. There are some things that are in grass that that horses need for their body. So there's that difference, and also. I started doing that pulse magnetic therapy on, on Penny. She had two courses of it, and what it does, you guys saw, I videoed it. What it does is it generate tissue. It regenerates tissue, damaged tissue. That's what it does in your body. That's what it's supposed to do. It regenerates damaged tissue. Huh, interesting, right? And then all of a sudden, Penny's growing her eyelids back. I don't know. I don't know. I have to look more into it. A miracle, totally a miracle. What are we doing today? Going to horse station. You're I'm pretty gonna... sure someone dropped off a horse because there's All right. a horse trailer. All right, well let's get this done and we'll go. Let's go. I'm pretty sure. So uh, basically Gabby's at uh, Kaylee's house today. She, um, get, so there's like a bunch of girls that the girls all know and like and one and like in our area and they don't really get to see each other because of COVID and because they just have never been able to match up at each barn and stuff and so today there's two other girls that my, that Gabby and Kaylee really like and they're all going to the barn together so really nice girls uh, they've both been in our videos I don't know if one to is the mall been, or to yeah the barn. they're gone to the mall oh sorry they're gone to the mall so yeah Gabby Kate slept at Kaylee's house and then they're gone to the mall with these other girls both I think have been in our videos uh, and so you might know them but it's been a while so all right come on lazy bones let's get going you ready to go Gracie girl you ready to go you ready to go oh we're going first today Penn we beat everybody Gabby's not here so I can be the leader yeah. Oh, I just stepped in a puddle. We got two horses. Two horses in. Only one left to go. I don't know if you guys can see. You can't see. Bye, Penny Pickle. I'll see you in a few hours. I hope it doesn't rain on you. I love that girl, you guys. I just love her. I love all of our horses, but when she looks at me and she talks to me, she tells me. Every time she looks me in the eye, she says, I know you, I understand you, and I trust you. Every single time, she stares straight in my eyes. She lets me do whatever I want to her. Like, I can kiss her nose ten times because she accepts me. It's like, like how she would feel with a foal, I think. She understands me. Even this one likes me. Who is the best behaved no matter what? Who? Gracie? Yeah. You think Gracie's the best behaved? She's a pretty good, oh, she was good. Not wind trotting. <laughs> Not wind trotting. <laughs> Palominos, I tell you, they have their own little set of rules. Oh, Gracie. Molly. I'm always one step behind. Wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. I wish I could have made it stop The first time that you stood me up I wasn't ready Yeah, never ready Like a forbidden fool I'm still waiting for I'm still wanting more Yeah, I know just what to do Uh-oh <laughs> Crazy She's a runner, she's a track star. You never want Daisy to catch it because Daisy, Daisy does not bring it back. All right, so if he wants to show you guys how to fish. All right. Fish for so, spotted fish. Um, yeah, they're the most legendary fish. See that fish right there? Most legendary, most sought after so, fish. Like but this. the hardest fish to catch. Uh, oh, oh, we caught it! We caught it! We caught it! Oh, 
But can you uncatch it? That's the question. No. We need to buy her one of those big ropes. And there's Ruby, the cat catcher. Hey, Ruby, no. I know where you're going. Oh, and they both fish for each other. And then they're self fishing fish. Hey, the player in the game. Boy, to me, they're all the same. But I'm ready. No, never ready. Yeah. Okay, so Sophie had a brilliant idea today. Tell them your idea, Sophie. Let's go to the sales bar. We're at the sales bar, and if you're new, then you might not know it's a place where they bring animals to sell them. I can hear lots of cows, and I can see lots of water. It's a flood zone here, you guys. Hey, you want to have a bath? My feet are kind of dirty from my garden, so it might, might be a good thing. So we come here because sometimes they have horses. Then, if, if they it have can horses, fit in the car, it is coming home. So Sophie made a plan. She said, if it can fit in the car, and we find like a mini that can fit in our car, we're Pretty bringing good. it home. That's the best way. So that's the plan because I agreed to it. Sam, if you're watching, I'm sorry. If there's a baby goat, I'm sorry if we show up home with something. If there's a baby goat, we can't get goats. Why can't we get goats? Because you don't say yes. Because people don't say yes. You no. don't say yes. Oh, no, we can't get a goat because we don't have good fencing for a goat. So, lots of sheep. So, Sophie wants a bottle baby. Do you guys know what a bottle baby is? In the past, we have had lots of bottle babies. Oh, I want a cow. So that's what we're looking for today. A bottle baby. Lots of cows. Imagine how weird it must be for us to be walking up here and then just standing there staring. Cows are beautiful. Pigs. I want a pig too. Not a giant pig like that. Some, some goats. They're not the kind they want, though. Look at there's a llama or a. There's a llama. She looks scared. Wow, look at the horns on those babies. Look at her. We see you. Oh, look at she wants us. Do you see her looking at us? Look at that goat looking at her. I don't want a llama. And I don't, look at that, the billy goat. Look at him. Look at his beard. I don't even know that much about those kind of goats. Let's get a baby cow. You want a baby cow now? I will. So we used to be able to walk down there and look at all the animals. Now we have to stay up here on this little platform. And it stinks up here. So. So it's not as good of an experience for us because before we used to be able to handle the animals, now we just can look. So I like baby sheep better than goats because they're easier to handle, but they're harder to feed as bottle babies. Usually it's boy sheep here. Usually at Ford Station it's mostly all boys. No horses though, no ponies. No ponies, no miniatures. We well, only saw a lot. So Sophie thought for sure that there would be a baby horse because she saw a horse trailer go by our house. Not a baby. Oh, she thought there'd be a mini, right? Horse, a horse that we could fit in our car. But anyway, no animals for us today. Nothing for us today. Lucky you, Sam. What? There were sheep and cows. There were sheep and cows, but we're not set up for sheep and we're not set up for cows. Although we have a really good field that would be good for cow for a cow. A lot of people have setups like this. It's like little containers on the back of their truck. See them all? That's how they bring their livestock here. Now that is seriously the biggest flood I've ever seen in a driveway. Tell them. There has been a death. There has been a I'm death. I'm also ripping apart this sticky animal thing. There's been a death in the family. Yeah. Her little horse got chewed to bits last night by Molly. Molly was a bad girl last night, you guys. She also chewed her tag. 
you might have seen in yesterday's video that the dogs all got these beautiful new tags. They Somebody sent them to the us. And Molly chewed hers to bits last oh, night. I had it in the kitchen as well. This is Molly's beautiful tag. You can see it says kind of Molly. It was pink and white and now it's gone. And so is Sophie's horse gone. She chewed the legs off and the head off. Yep. And this was my favorite pole. It's always the favorite one they chew. I feel like Molly kind of has ADHD at night because Molly does not stay still. She walks around all night. All night. She just walks and walks and walks. I hear the pitter patter of her feet. She doesn't sleep at night and all of our other dogs sleep at night. So last night when Gabby was away, it's only when Gabby's away because she knows Gabby won't be there to get mad at her. She no, listens to Gabby. So last night she chewed everything. Molly, bring him to us. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Molly, no more. Molly, no more. I'm not gonna lie, she brings those doll horses to us every time. Like, it's kind of handy. Hold on, hold Why on. Here, 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 here. Molly, no more. Molly, wait. Sophie, what? here's an apple for her. So my friend Allie said that there's no way her audit is missing and grew back. And she says that it's just inverted, which I asked of that. And he looked and he checked and he said that there's no eyelid there. And, and I look now and I see it. There's, it's not, I've seen inverted eyelids before and it's not there. Like it's completely missing. So I don't know, it's a, it's a conundrum. I'm just happy that she's, she's good. But look at this girl. She may have chewed everything, but this girl always helps us. I want to help, but she can hurt the No, I don't, I don't like her hurting the horses because she, She's not trained, and I don't want Mal and I don't want Penny running. But oh, here, let me help you with that. Let me scratch it for you. That's how you be kind to your horse. Did you know? When they have a scratch, when they have an itchy spot, you scratch it for them, and then they look like that, and they pay attention, and it makes them feel bonded to you. So whenever the horses don't come, like today, they didn't want to come in today. They wanted to stay out there and they didn't come to us. And so Sophie says, go get them, Molly. And Molly goes and she gets them. Like as soon as she starts running around them, they all run to us. What are you doing? What? Yeah, you're such a good girl. Anyways, um, it's helpful. <laughs> to have a herding dog even though she doesn't know how to, to herd so I need to put her in some classes. All right Sophie tell me what do you want for your birthday? It'll soon be Sophie's birthday. Either just a miniature pony or a bunch of fidgets. A bunch of fidgets or a miniature pony? Which one do you think she's gonna get? Probably fidgets. Love them! So all the girls came and met us at the beach and Kaylee. Some of them got matching crops. They're gorgeous. Where'd you get them? Oh. Black, black uh, oh. Yeah. Never heard of that. All right. So, Cece, Kaylee, Gabby, Kaylee. We're going to play some volleyball. And Sophie got a giant poppet. Giant